They're gonna hatch real soon. And judging by the size of the nest, we're gonna have some big bouncing babies. Okay, that's it for now, Elena. Just a little longer, Jeremy. We've never been able to access this much data. Let me take over now, okay? Elena, listen, I don't want to rush you, but uh. I've got things under control. Three vehicles coming right up. Just watch. I'll show him what it is to be a guy. <laughs> Jeremy, tell me, do I really need to hear this? Uh, sorry, Yumi, but you can't always choose your friends. Anyway, the tunnel will be open soon. Hmm. Follow you inside. And there you go. The data analysis program is running. Great. And what does that mean exactly? With all the data that we've been able to recover, I've got a good chance of finding the antivirus. You mean that pretty soon we'll be able to shut down the super calculator? Exactly. And if it works, Aelita will no longer be tied to Xana by that horrible virus. Oh, shoot. What are we going to do with our free time? I mean, if we can't save the world anymore... You might study a little more and learn something for once. 3 a.m.? Well, we'd better head for our rooms if we don't want to get caught. Well, good night. You mean what's left of it? Hmm. Jeremy, do you really think that your calculations will lead to something? We can never be 100% sure, but I think so. I can't believe that soon I'll be really real. Well, to me, you already are very real. I mean it. And to everyone else, you're Elita Stones, Odd's cousin. You know very well that isn't true. But a lie that everybody believes isn't really a lie anymore. Hey, don't worry, Elita. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Believe me. Good night. Good night, Jeremy. It's Tuesday already. No, you're not dreaming, or rather, you're not dreaming anymore. It's already 7 o'clock in the morning on Sky Radio. Look out your window. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and Leon talking, talking, talking to keep you from falling back to sleep, you bunch of lazy bones. It's a great day that's going to start off great thanks to Sky Radio with the Hi, Dad. latest hit. Hear it? Hmm. I can't help but wonder what a girl your age could possibly be doing out at such a late hour. There's a boy behind this, isn't there? 
I couldn't exactly tell them that there were three friends involved and all of them boys, could I? That would have really freaked them out. Why didn't you just make up a story? I do it all the time with my parents. I'm sick of lying. I'd love to be able to tell them everything like I used to. Don't worry, Yumi. Soon you won't have to lie anymore. Come on, cheer up. It's going to be a great day. They said so on the radio. Don't you think Jeremy looks happy this morning? Not for long. Hey! Whoa! Jeremy, would you listen to something for me? You'll see, there's not a lot of music, but the words are really interesting. She taped the whole conversation. But what does she want, exactly? She wants to be a part of our group, and that we explain everything to her from A to Z. If not, she'll tell her father everything. She's even worse than I thought. Excuse me, you three, but do you mind if I teach a class here? Not at all, ma'am. After all, it is your job. Yes, and my job is also to ask questions, isn't it odd? So would you be kind enough to tell me the mass in moles of two oxygen atoms? Um, um... 32 grams per mole. And the principle of photosynthesis? Uh, you mean... The synthesis of oxygen from plants possessing chlorophyll placed in light. All right, here's an easy one now. Which student in this graduating class is the biggest failure in science who, nevertheless, takes the liberty of not listening to my lessons? Um, me, Mrs. Hertz? Bravo! Well done, Odd. You see what you can do when you apply yourself. Whatever happens, we can't let Sissy tell her father. Don't worry, Jeremy. I've got an idea. I'm so happy that you finally decided to give me a lesson in Penchar of Kilat. Penchak Silat. Whatever. Well, I wonder what could have made you change your mind all of a sudden. Is it this one? Uh-huh. Huh? Ooh. Maybe this is what you're looking for? This is a basic lanka. You ought to be able to manage it. Uh, 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 what? <laughs> huh? You were right, Sissy, as usual. They were after the mini disc. Oh, well, gentlemen, did you think you were smarter than me? You don't know me very well. So, now it's time to spill the beans. Tell me everything you've been up to for as long as I can remember. What's the big conspiracy? Oh, you won't tell me a thing? Is that it? Okay, then. You asked for it. I'm going to play this recording for my father. Hmm. It's Tuesday already. No, you're not dreaming, or rather, you're not dreaming anymore. It's already 7 o'clock in the morning on Sky Radio. Look out your window. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. It's the Sky Radio with the Subsonics' latest hit. Hear it? Yumi, I have to talk to you. Papa, I know what you're going to tell me. You're totally right. Okay, I'm sorry. Yumi! <sighs> But I didn't program going back in time. Then how do you explain the fact that Tuesday is starting again? It's weird. Let's go over to the factory after science class to check it out. At least we've got a second chance to get Sissy off our backs. Uh, Sissy? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. What? You are? But, but, you see, I, uh, I wanted to talk to Jeremy. Oh, that can wait. There's something I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. But I just can't bring myself to do it. You, uh... You can't, uh... Would you like to learn Pinchak Silat with me? Well, uh, yes! So, would you be kind enough to tell me the mass and moles of two oxygen atoms? 32 grams per mole, ma'am. Uh, oh, yes, uh, that's right. Uh, very well, Odd. Now, please, would you explain to me the principle of photosynthesis? Of course, ma'am. That would be the synthesis of oxygen from plants possessing chlorophyll placed in light. Odd? Is it really you? You haven't been replaced by a clone? No, ma'am, why? Is something wrong? No, uh, no. Let's go on with our lesson. Wow, hey, being a good student is so cool. <laughs> Very good. You learn really fast. You think so? That's great. Uh, Sissy, could, could I talk to you as a friend? Sorry? As a what? As a friend. You see, I'm worried about Jeremy and Ailita. I know you're going to laugh, but... Laugh? But why? Well, um, 
you see, they, they've kind of lost it. For some strange reason, they think they're virtual people. What's that? Do you think we're going to live the same day over and over again? First, I have to isolate the program that jumps back in time to see what's going on. Maybe it's Xana's doing. We'll know in a minute. Odd, you mind telling us what you're doing over there? I'm studying. That's what you wanted me to do, wasn't it? Hmm. Look at that. Xana's managed to take control over going back in time. But how? In my opinion, by using the data we recovered from Sector 5, booby trap data. But why would he do that? He must have a good reason. I don't know. In any event, it's starting up again. We're going to go directly back in time in a few minutes. I'm launching a scan to see if a tower has been activated. I can't believe that soon I'll be really real. It's even worse than I thought. They've gone right off the deep end. But that's crazy. <laughs> it's much worse. They're totally out of it. Tower activated. Xana's launched an attack. But what kind? I don't know yet, but we can expect the worst. He didn't take control of jumping back in time for the fun of it. Get ready! It's starting again! It's two. Video with the Subsonics latest hit. Uh, Hi, Dad. Uh, you, me! What's fascinating is that plants use the sun's energy to change water and carbon dioxide into glucose and in exchange give off oxygen. Odd. If you keep this up, you'll be teaching the class instead of me. Oh, I certainly don't know as much as you, Mrs. Hertz. I'm beginning to wonder. Just think, now I'll have to start all over again with Sissy. Don't even bother, Ulrich. I need you too much on Lyoko to help the others deactivate the tower. But what about Sissy? We'll find another way. Fair enough. I really don't think I could be as clever as yesterday. Not like Odd. Transfer Yumi! Transfer Aelita! Scare Yumi! Scare Aelita! Virtualization! Uh, uh. Welcome to Lyoko, ladies! The activated tower is on the second plateau to the north. Sorry, but you're gonna have to go without vehicles because I don't have enough machine resources to bring them up. No sweat. It'll be just like the good old days. Come on, let's go. Good luck. I'm gonna try and regain control of jumping back in time. It's kind of quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. You can never really enjoy the present moment, can you, Ulrich? Huh? <gasps> oh, yes, I can. Jeremy, Xana is sending us monsters. So I see. Separate their flight pattern. That ought to weaken them. Odd. Take Aelita to the tower. Ulrich and I will take care of the monsters. Dive on your right. It should be a path that leads to the tower. With a platform to land on? Well, logically, yes. That's encouraging. Here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Super sprint! little machines work very well. Daddy, that's not the point. You heard what they said. Yes, it's uh, strange indeed. I'll call Della Rovia's parents to get to the bottom of this. Nice jump, but it just cost you each 20 life points. It was worth it. We can see the tower.
hornets are attacking Aelita and Odd. Got it. Odd, get ready for guests. Three hornets are heading for you. Shh. Odd, listen. You hide. I'll take care. Odd, time's running out. Xana has started another jump back in time. Cheer up, Jeremy. You're about to get another day. So then, madam, you have never heard of this young girl who is supposedly your son's cousin? No, I assure you. Sorry to have disturbed you. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Hmm. No, you're not dreaming, or rather, you're not dreaming anymore. <sighs> it's already 7 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> No, I don't believe it. Aelita is still on Lyoko. We gotta get back to the factory. Pronto. Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Sissy, I already know what you're gonna say, but I don't have time. Tokyo Moon! You over here. We're waiting for Jeremy. Without him, we can't do anything. Leave your message. I'll call you back. Still no answer. Okay, we'll find him. Uh. Sissy, you're not yourself. Xana has possessed you. You must not obey him. I've never felt so good. No! <sighs> Transport the simpleton to a safer place. Yumi, they saw me. I lead up. I lead up. Perfect. They'll never think of looking for him here. But sissy, what's going on? You. Be quiet! Ugh. Odd, Ulrich, look out! Sissy is possessed by Xana! <sighs> Can you see anything? Absolutely nothing, but I think we better get out of here! <sighs> Go on, I'll handle her. Are you sure? Get going, will ya? Good luck! How did Santa learn to possess people? It looks like he's increased his powers! Brilliant, Einstein! But how? With the jumps back in time! You think so? I sure do! The supercalculator is a quantum computer that uses the properties of qubits. Every time you add a qubite, its power theoretically doubles. I think the pro- Jeremy, do you mind saying that in English? Well, the supercalculator is so powerful that it can undoubtedly do it. Oh 
there you are at last. I lead us in trouble. remember a thing. It's as if nothing ever happened. Lucky for us. Mrs. Hertz already gave each of us four hours of detention for skipping her class. You know, if our homework is on photosynthesis, I just might get the only good grade of my entire career as a scholastic washout. Anyway, we now know that Xana can control people. We also know that jumping back in time increases his power. We're gonna have to be very careful. The next round is gonna be tougher than ever. You know me, I'm a real dream come true. More like a nightmare to tell the truth of. Hmm. These visions of yours are becoming a real problem. 
It all started at the Hermitage. I think you should go back there. What? Back to that old house? I'm not sure if you remember, but last time we were attacked by a cupboard, a lamp, and a gang of forks. <laughs> I don't like that place. It scares me. We don't have any choice, Aelita. If we don't do something, your hallucinations could get worse. Don't worry. This time we'll be with you. My legs are shaking. What's happening to me? You're scared. It's nothing to worry about. It happens to Jeremy all the time. Come on, we'll see who's scared. There, there. Stay down, boy. See, everything is just fine. Alita's never seen this toy gnome, but she's been dreaming about it for days and she knows it's called Mr. Puck. It's not a gnome. It's an elf. Well, whatever it is, this whole story is definitely paranormal. Uh -huh. Now Alita's still playing with hey. dolls. Sissy, give that back right now. <laughs> Go fetch. <back. laughs> hey, a bit of advice. Give me that toy right now. What toy? <laughs> hey, I dare you to take your glasses off. Come on. Huh? noise about okay you can have it but only because it's you right look at this triangle marked a b c the point i is in the middle of the segment a b this what's this key doing here what do you think it opens i sure wish i knew but i have no idea at all A locker is the key to a train station locker! Mm -hmm. Jeremy, mm -hmm. I'm listening. Um, a complex number is called transcendent only if the rational coefficient's polynomial root is a polynomial zero. Yes, indeed, that is a sierpinski mazurkiewicz paradox, but it is not the answer to our problem, so, zero. <laughs> train 6537 leaving on track 5 on board. This is it. Would you like to do the honors? H, what does that stand for? Fuzzy hands, 50 cent hot dog, fried egg. Egg doesn't start with an H. Just testing to see if you're on your toes. Oh, well, music. Certainly not. Let's see what we can come up with. Franz Hopper's Diary. Great. Maybe we'll be able to find out more about the Hermitage's mysterious owner. For sure. But not right away. Everything is encrypted. We'll have to decode it first. How much time do you need? One, maybe two hours? More like one or two years. Hmm. Come on, time to get up. 
just a little bit longer. I'm gonna take a shower. No harm done. They ran away. The super scan didn't detect any activated towers. Xana's attack failed. That's weird. Xana can possess humans, but not you two. It must have something to do with sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sure of that. See you later. is the noblest event in athletics. Except maybe for the long jump or the shot put, javelin, high jump, bobo. Some of you may associate running with cowardice as in running away. Nothing could be further from the truth. Since he who runs well goes far. <laughs> Jeremy, uh, let's see how powerful your strides are. <clears throat> for those of you with short memories, let me remind you that, uh, well, what was I going to say? Uh, right. Uh, may I remind you that we start when I say go. Not on get set and not on ready. I mean, well, after ready, get set is when I say go. <laughs> right. Okay. On your marks, get set, go! Ouch! What now? I twisted my ankle. Yeah, of course you did. You don't get strong muscles sitting in front of a computer. Er, take him to the infirmary. Jim? Would you mind if Eileen came with me instead? Okay, whatever. Go on then. Take him far away from me. Mm. Mm. Jeremy, you're not limping anymore. Has your ankle stopped hurting? I think Jeremy's been possessed by Xana. Are you sure? This morning, Odd and I were almost possessed by a couple of ghosts, but they didn't succeed. Why would it work on Jeremy? No idea, but I saw him heading for the parklands. Ailita's in his arms. She was unconscious. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll check the super scan. Let's meet at the factory. Okay. Pitiful. A slug could have made it around faster. Ulrich, I'm counting on you to raise the level. Uh, okay. Uh, but I've got to go to the restroom first. Oh, and I gotta go too, Jim. <sighs> okay, okay, make it snappy. Right, which one of you wimps is next? Sector one, the ice territory, south southeast. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. Sam is attacked. We have to stop Jeremy and fast too. Okay, we're on it. <gasps> Jeremy. <gasps> Jeremy, no, listen to me, please. weird to be fighting against Jeremy. I mean, I don't want to hurt him, but...
These are the coordinates of the activated tower. You guys go ahead. I'll take care of them. Okay, over here, Twinkle Fingers. I have a good feeling we're really going to hit it off. How are you doing, Aylita? Think you can handle it? I'm not as good as Jeremy at it. The virtualization countdown has been launched. Who teaches you nonsense like that? No, as a matter of fact, it's Jim. Whoa! I'm sure glad that post was there and not my face. Got any other tricks up your sleeve? Uh oh, that wasn't very smart, was it? Especially since you're the one who's got to fix it. Open, huh? We don't have Jeremy to warn us about monsters this time. Uh oh, I don't like the sound of that. Discussion with someone who has no sense of humor. No, oh, well, easy does it. <laughs> Not so clever now, huh? Blocks.
Wait, head for the tower. I'll take care of the silver grown bug. Talking to Odd and Ulrich, and then after that, nothing. Just a black hole. Zana took control of you. Ugh. He destroyed all of France Hopper's CDs. Apparently had a problem with his notes. Whew. What do you mean? Whew. It's a disaster! No, it isn't. Last night when I got back from the train station, I stopped in here, and I copied the CDs onto a highly restricted access part of the supercomputer. I'm the only one who can access them. You're a genius, Jeremy. <laughs> Still, there's something I don't get. Why couldn't Xana's ghost take control of Odd and me, and then have no trouble controlling Jeremy? No idea. I might have an explanation. Apart from you, we're all used to fighting on Lyoko. Maybe that gives us more resistance to Xana. Maybe. But then how can we protect me? Hmm. I just might have the answer. <sighs> well? That's the last time I ever set foot on Lyoko. Why? Just because of a couple of mega tanks? It's really just not my thing. I'll never be able to hack it. You know, I think I'd rather be possessed by Xana than go back there. I'll just keep on the lookout for ghosts, that's all. Well, what did he look like on Lyoko? He looked... how... how can I say this tactfully? Ridiculous. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mr. Pat. Let's go for a walk in the garden.
without my authorization. How'd you get in here? an idea. You know what day it is today? Uh, Tuesday. Yes, but not just any Tuesday. It's St. Valentine's Day, the day all lovers celebrate. Lovers? Yes, and I can guess exactly which boy might want to give you a present, can't you? <laughs> hey, there's Ailita. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. You know, the first time I see someone in the morning, I tend to say good morning. But then again, maybe I'm a little old-fashioned. For the necklace. Thank you. The, um, necklace? Your Valentine's Day present. It's lovely. Uh, yeah, um, well, you're welcome. It's only natural. <laughs> well, see you in history class. See you, Alita. Hmm. You didn't give it to her, did you? Was it that obvious? Yeah. But lucky for you, love has made Aelita blind. Oh, come on, Ulrich. <laughs> Most historians believe that Valentine's Day is associated with the Roman Lupercalia. Hey, Ulrich, it wouldn't be you who gave her that necklace by any chance. You out of your mind or something? I didn't even know it was Valentine's Day. celebrations mark the first day of the Roman spring, an important day in ancient Rome. Jeremy, uh, what rhymes with a tulip? I don't know. Microchip? Paperclip? Hypocrite? Okay, never mind. What are you writing? Nothing. A poem? No. Is it for you, me? No. It's biology homework. Biology homework that rhymes, huh? That's interesting. <sighs> Odd. The necklace. It wasn't you, was it? <laughs> Do I have to remind you that Alita is supposed to be my cousin? Yes, except that we both know she isn't your cousin. Yeah, what if it was me? Aelita isn't your property as far as I know. Uh-huh! You see, you admit it! I didn't admit anything! You just said it was you! Hey, have you got bananas? Your eyesight's not great, but you're hearing swears! I... <clears throat> if you have more important subjects to discuss than today's lesson, I suggest you do so in the principal's office! In your case, Odd, this comes as no surprise. But you, Jeremy... A model student in all areas I simply don't understand. Well, uh... Two hours of detention should help you to find some more convincing arguments. And you're lucky it's Valentine's Day, or I'd have given you at least four. I'm still waiting for an answer. Hey, why did we call it truce, okay? Was it you who gave her the necklace, yes or no? Okay, then, no truce. Come on, Einstein. It's stupid to fight over such a little thing. He's right. What's more, Odd has every right to give Eileta a present if he wants to. Uh, Ulrich? Could I talk to you for a second? Well, only if it's really important. For me? Is this for Valentine's Day? <laughs> no, it's for Christmas. <laughs> of course it's for Valentine's Day. What do you think? Hmm? Come on, open it, stupid. Wow. A ticket to the Subsonics concert. Isn't that your favorite group? Hmm. Well, yeah. I must be dreaming. Yumi, I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, William. Hmm. I must be dreaming. Sissy, I wrote you a little poem hmm? to tell you how much I flip, if not with a tulip. How I'm a victim of your charms and long to hold you in my arms. With you, I never f feel gloomy, my little uh, sissy. Oh, Ulrich, it rhymes. It's so beautiful. William.
William, your bouquet is beautiful. How did you know that I liked roses? I didn't, but I figured you were like all the other girls. Ooh, how romantic, William. <laughs> Just a bit awkward. Thank you, William. You couldn't have made me happier. Mmm. It's ridiculous to fight over such a puny little thing. William had every right to give you me a present, and so did Sissy with Ulrich, right? Hey, I don't think you're the one to talk right now, okay? Um, by the way, does anyone know where Aelita is? Settle down and take your seats. Please open your textbooks to page 27. The anatomical structure of muscles. Where were you? I looked for you everywhere. I was, um, uh... You think that we could go to Sector 5 after class? I know where to find the data for making the antivirus. The one that'll free you from Xana? You mean to say it, it just came to you just like that? Let's just say that your necklace inspired me. The problem is that given everybody's bad mood today, I doubt that Otter, Ulrich, or Yumi are going to want to go with you. I can go by myself. No, it's too dangerous. Don't forget Xana's ready to go to any extreme to steal your memory, Aelita. Please, Jeremy, I'm positive I'm on the right track. And with an Overborn, I'm sure I can get away from the monsters, even the latest ones like the Skiffazoa. Please. Oh, why, Jeremy! <laughs> That's two more hours. Four hours of detention. I'm going to have to suspend you if you do anything else. Jim sees Spider-Man stuck to the ceiling. My best pupil is acting like a clown. Valentine's Day is making everyone crazy. Yumi says she'll go with me to Lyoko. Hmm? After everything that's happened today, it'll be nice to get something accomplished. Starting up the process. Transfer you, me. Transfer Eilida. Scanner, you, me. Scanner, Eilida. Virtualization. Hey, that's weird. Vehicles for the ladies coming right up. Materialization. You need to go due east to get to the edge of the sector. No way. I'm heading north. Oof. But I don't understand. You're supposed to go to sector five. Sorry, Yumi. What? Alita! 
What's going on? Yumi, can you hear me? Are you okay? Oh, I'd be lying if I said I was. What's gotten into her? I don't know. She's lost it. You've absolutely got to stop her. She's headed due north. Okay, I'll try. But I'm gonna need some backup. I'm on it. Jeremy, we're supposed to be doing two hours of detention now. Speak slower. I can't understand a word. Hmm? An attack by Xana. Is that all you can think of as an excuse for us to make up? Odd, uh, listen to me. It's an emergency. Just get over here now. No cell phones in detention. Where is Jeremy Belpois? Odd. Uh, Odd. Uh, can you hear me? Relax, Ulrich. Surprise! The latest of Sonic CD, look! Not bad for getting in the mood before going to the concert. Uh, sissy, uh, listen. You're right. Let's not talk. Let's listen. Hmm? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy. Okay, I'll be right there. Huh? Right, I'll take care of it. Hey! Where are you going? Jeremy just reminded me of a really important thing I have to do. What? Uh, well, leave. Uh -huh. oh. Okay, Jeremy, I see her. Yumi, do you know how Aelita got that necklace? I think she found it on her doorstep. Do you think Xana could have put it there? I'm launching the super scan. We'll know in a minute. In my opinion, it's that dumb necklace that gives Xana control over Aelita. He wants to lead her straight to the Skiffazoa. Oh no, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Looks like Xana has activated the tower. Don't panic, Jeremy. I've just about caught up to her. And I was about to say this was too easy. I don't want to sound pessimistic, but if Ulrich and Odd could hurry up a bit... You see, Jim, Aelita's got a 104 fever, so naturally she wants to see her cousin. He's her only family here. A minute ago, it was 103. Right, her temperature keeps going up by the minute. <laughs> what do you take me for, some kind of idiot? Well, um, no. No, Jim. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah, well, no, Jim doesn't believe me. About Aelita's fever. Okay, put him on, Ulrich. Here you are, Jim. It's it's for you. Yes? Yes? Oh, of course. I, I understand, Mr. Delmas. Huh? Do you hear me, Jim? Let Della Robia see. His cousin. Uh, very well. Whatever you say, sir. Mm -hmm. Say, um, nah, uh, when you have time, could I speak to you about a personal matter? It's about Suzanne Hertz. I, well, uh, I, uh... Oh, it's a tunnel! Uh, we're about to get cut off! <laughs> How did you manage that with the principal? I wrote a new program. Stern? Delarobia? Hurry up, things are getting hot here. Huh? One fanned out as well. Jeremy, tell me you've reprogrammed a new vehicle. Don't worry. Give me ten seconds. Yeah, let's go 
Can you mean? Do you still have a visual on Nylita? She took off for Sector 1, the ice sector. Use a weight tower. On the overboard? Are you absolutely sure about that? Uh, well, yes. There's no reason you couldn't. If you're wrong, I swear I'll... What? Um, nothing. Cancer without me, huh? You won't get mad if I save Ilita, will you? Odd. No, let him hold it. He's right. I was being stupid. I don't blame you, Jeremy. I understand. I'm a pretty charming guy. It's only natural you'd be jealous of me. Hmm. <laughs> Transfer Ulrich! Transfer off! Scanner Ulrich! Scanner off! Virtualization! Happy to see me? I sure am. Move it, Jeremy. I can't hold her for long. I'm doing all I can. See, Yumi, what did you think of my poem for Sissy? Ulrich, oh, this is really not the time. Because, in fact, I actually wrote it for you. <gasps> oh, I can't hold on! Ah! Yumi! Remind me to boost that program. Ulrich, Odd's about to need your help. Anything else? Okay, here I go. <gasps> Only 30 life points left. Will you want me to stop? Uh, no, I just hope I'm right. Uh, uh, uh. Zana's given up. Yes. Uh. 
Oh, the skiff is always at it again. It was too good to be true. Only ten life points left. It's okay. What's going on? Why are you aiming at me? be able to get some interesting information about Xana. Anyway, Ailita, from now on, you don't take any presents from anyone. Promise. You know, Jeremy saved my life, and that's the nicest Valentine's present anyone could hope for. Mm. Yeah, but that sure won't save him from being suspended. For missing four hours of detention, the principal's not going to be too happy about that. But I'm sure there's a solution. <laughs> mm. Hey, what are you looking at me for? I'm really happy to be going to the concert with you, but you won't forget to talk to your father beforehand, huh? Don't worry, I'll get Jeremy out of this. Now that's a real friend, ready to sacrifice himself for his pal. Are you sure he's sacrificing himself as much as all that? He doesn't seem to be bothered by it. Maybe not, but it was for me that he wrote the poem. Poor sissy! <laughs> <laughs>